All right, welcome everybody into the garage. Uh, I'm gonna try something here. Uh, so we're gonna talk about this a bit uh, in detail as we work through this, but I'm gonna attempt to polish the PPF. Uh, this is, I believe it's Expel. Sure looks like it to me. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's only you know a year old or less. Uh, so it's pretty new PPF. And there's some there's a, there's a line you know from I'll try to capture it I probably won't be able to, but there's a line on the on the on the PPF from a vinyl, so we're gonna try to just do a simple basic polish to it to see if I can fix that. If I can't, uh, then what I'll probably do is uh, send it down to Ryan and Auto Paint Guard and we'll do the the roof and the hood uh, and see if we can't uh, can't you know just swap the the, the PPF on it. Uh, the thing that stinks is the car clearly didn't have PPF forever. There's some rock chips, a few little bubbles in the PPF, but uh, I've been considering or asking myself, is this acceptable for me? You know, the, I, I know I'm going to be doing a raffle on this car, but, um, you know, I treat it as my own, as my car. So uh, let's get some stuff out here. Let's, let's do, um, let's try a simple yellow pad. Put the leather care stuff away here. I was cleaning, working on that earlier, but let's get, uh, let's get a polisher out. The beauty of this whole cordless stuff is I feel like I have to do a whole lot less work now that I'm using all cordless polishers. I'm going to grab my Milwaukee. And then what I theoretically am going to do to this car, what, what my plan is anyway, we'll see how it goes, uh, but I'm going to polish the whole thing, uh, all the PPF, the whole thing's covered in PPF. I'm going to polish the whole thing and then I'm going to coat it. And normally I would do Halo. Uh, I don't know if I have a bottle of Halo here. Yeah, I do. So normally I'd do, I don't know, this is Ultra. I'm saving Ultra for my, for my touring that comes. But normally I would do Halo on the PPF, but I find it doesn't work on the Expel very well. So um, we're not gonna do that. So theoretically, I'm gonna do some really simple, perfect finish polishing to PPF. Theoretically, you can treat PPF the same as paint, right? So I can polish this just like I polish paint with the exception of, I think you want to manage heat. Um, there is, from my first wash, there's clearly no, um, there's no protection on this, uh, but, uh, or no, no coating on top of the PPF. And theoretically, we're gonna remove some of the top coat so any of the hydrophobic capability of this paint protection film, we're gonna mess that up, we're gonna damage it. So, um, but it's ruined anyway, so we might as well try to see if we can restore it and fix it, save myself a bunch of money. So that's the plan here, is to just slop a little polish on here and see what happens. And then if I polish the whole car, you know, we might try. Let's try this first. This would be um, DA Fine from Rupes. I'm gonna try this first. Because this is a finishing polish where technically perfect finish is a combo. It a, has a little cut and then finish. So I'm gonna do this on a yellow pad just to see what happens. Let me shoot down the barrel of the hood here and see if you can uh, See if you can see what I see on camera. The good news is the great news. I thought it was etched into the paint. And I found out that the stripes were on top of this PPF. So this is a recent thing. And I pulled the stripes off. Okay, so let's try this. A couple of dots. See if I can capture this for you here. So the stripe, yeah, I can't really see it on screen, but the stripe is right here. So there was a stripe that was peeled off. Yeah, you can see it. I can see it there. So you can see it running all the way up. So it goes up and goes up onto the roof. Luckily it doesn't go onto the back. So now what we're gonna try to do is get rid of that.
pretty sure that's not pretty sure that's not working. So anytime you do this, I mean, there's a ooh, maybe it is working. That looks pretty darn good. Yeah, I mean, I can still see the line. Yeah, it's much, much less. Yeah. So I want to try. Let me try this section with some perfect finish. And waste another $15 pad. Yeah, so I mean, even just cleaning up the PPF, that does look a lot better. Just in general, the whole PPF looks a little less janked. So if I did a quick finish polish on this thing, and then did a, uh, did coating on it, I think it'd be freaking awesome. I just have a sneaky suspicion I like the perfect finish. Look better. I think that, make sure I well, only throw, uh, throw some microfiber at it and see if that works. I think that the Rupes did a little better. Let's just see what happens. I'm gonna ruin it anyway. So I don't think I'm gonna wanna go any more aggressive than this, but we're gonna try some wool, at least on this section here. Not wool, microfiber. On this section, see what happens. And so I certainly won't be doing this on the rest of the PPF. I'll just go and do like a two pass. I'm liking the, what the Rupes looks like on this. Just to clean it up and prep it for what my plan is, which is to uh, coat it afterward. guess that making more passes probably isn't going to do anything else. You know, we're not like removing material from the PPF. We're trying to just get that line out. And so the big line is basically gone. The big one, it's the little line. I still see more of. Sure does look a lot better, but I don't like a lot better. I like all better, all the way better. I just wonder if you'll be able to see that or not under these lights. You can see the top coat of the PPF that I'm pulling off though. 
it looks a lot like you know, when you're trying to remove a coating. And the other thing I was thinking I could do is I could heat it up a little bit. It looks pretty good. Like if you didn't know what to look for, just looking at the hood. Yeah. And the stripe, the stripe is right here. There it goes. Nah, I can't see it. Versus, I mean, if you stood up here, just come, you know, stood up here and look at the roof, well, that's the way it looked before. Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of etching still left in the. But look at what it does to the uh, top coat. It's where I didn't polish. It almost looks like I'm removing a coating, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I'm not polished. Back. And it goes away for a second and then comes back. Comes right back. So I gotta polish yeah. the whole car. <laughs> Get off. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty darn good. It's, so what I'll do is I'll polish it, coat the whole thing, and then I'll drive around and you know, look at, see how acceptable it is. I really should wait though until we do the dry ice stuff. That's true. Um, when, are you, when are you doing the dry ice stuff? Next week. Yeah, because unless you caught the exact right light at the exact right angle, you'd have to know it was there. I think the PPF polish is a bunch of nonsense. It's just freaking polish. So I think that's going to be the ticket. But this Rupes Fine DA stuff on a yellow pad. We did the microfiber in order to get rid of the stripe. Now we'll just go and refine the whole thing. Big sections. So I'm going to hold off on doing the whole car. I just want to do this whole hood just to see what it looks like. But I'm going to hold off on doing the car because we're going to do dry ice cleaning of the entire exterior mechanical section of the car next week. So all next week there's a whole series so we're going to dig into that. But I did want to just capture a little call this repair, repairing PPF and I'm going to follow this procedure on the roof as well. And then I'll wait and coat this whole thing all at once next week. Oh yeah, much better, much, much better. So as I was saying, I don't know that the, if you want to be safe and make it simple on you, you could just choose like some of the PPF polishes that exist. I think CarPro has one, Gion has one. But, you know, I don't think that's necessary. I think you can use one of the regular polish that you're using on your paint that you prefer. So if you have some sort of imperfection like what I had, you can break out the compound and the microfiber like I just did, and you treat it very simil similarly to paint. I just want to be careful of any edges when I start to polish the rest of the car. But I think what I'll do for this video, let's, let's repair this area and that area, and then I'm going to save the rest of the car for after, after the uh, dry ice cleaning. So I'm gonna finish this section and I'll come back and we'll work on the roof. So really, that's how you polish PPF. Man, it really came out great. Um, I'm gonna shut her down. I'm wanting to polish the whole thing. I could do this car in two hours, have the whole thing done. Uh, Cause we're just sort of finished polishing it. I'm not doing any real correction. You can't really correct the PPF with the polish. So you're not really correcting, we're just kinda removing the haze and whatever contaminants and funk has gotten on top of it. I, I did a normal decon wash. I didn't clay it. Uh, so what I did was just to d just use an alkaline soap. And then it was in here. I did an eraser wipe down uh, for so an isopropyl alcohol wipe, al alcohol wipe down. And then you saw me do the microfiber and the, the um, more aggressive uh, correction or the, the compound on it with microfiber and then you could see the haze of the, the sort of par partially probably contamination but also some of the top coat coming off the expel so you're when you do this you're very likely affecting the self-healing properties of it which I don't really use, utilize anyway because I'm always going to wash it properly 
and uh, but man, it really I'm really surprised at how much better it looks if you look at the fender versus the uh, versus the the hood area. Um, I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna save the roof and because I don't know where to quit, so I'm gonna save the roof and uh, the rest of the car. We'll do the dry ice cleaning. And then I'll wash it, decon it again, wash it with some decon soap or reset again. Uh, and then we'll polish the whole car with that same procedure of the Rupes GA fine, so the yellow, uh, with a yellow pad. We'll polish the whole car. I'll do the stripe on the hood and the stripe, the Porsche emblem that's on the back. Uh, but that's how you would repair PPF. Uh, what I may do is we'll do another video on this, but just do a better quality video when uh, Wab is here and we can uh, work on it together uh, when I when I do the you know, sort of, we'll call it, you know, correcting or per, per, you know, perfecting paint protection film. And um, I polished it before, but not to the scale of the whole car. So that'll be interesting to see how it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Go to, um, I'll put it in the description, go to the Renless Journal, um, taking photos and journaling all this stuff. So uh, if you're interested in that kind of thing, you know, hit me up, uh, hit up the journal and make a comment there. But uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.